Hi, so this is Scott from Set Coupernet and this is another review, just a quick kind of fan review. I never claim to be a motoring journalist, so this is going to be slightly biased because I love Seats, of course. But we are in the Leon ST Cupra Carbon Edition, uh, which has just been announced. 50 are coming to the UK, you can order them now, and this is probably the first one in the UK. Uh, it's the press card that Sayer very kindly lent me for a bit up here in Milton Keynes. So I'm going to talk about it, going to go for a bit of a drive. Uh, I have just been driving my 300 five door, so it would be useful to have a, a kind of back to back comparison. This is a DSG model, uh, which is the same as my uh, Cupra as well. So if you saw my other review on the Leon Cupra R, uh, which is also here and I might take for another little spin in a bit because it's awesome. Uh, you might have heard me say that a few times if you saw the other video. Uh, but again, interesting to drive these three cars back to back. So uh, let's go for a spin. Oh, I must say this has the digital dash, which I will uh, take some pictures of and probably do a bit of a video. Uh, but for now, it's all about the driving. So uh, let's get out of this uh, residential estate and hit the roads and roundabouts of Milton Keynes. So, we're on the road. The first thing that I notice, having just been driving my car, is this is obviously an estate, which I knew before I got in, but the extra length and the extra weight does feel a little bit different. I wouldn't say it feels any worse. I actually quite like how it feels a little bit more planted on the road uh, with the extra length uh, and could easily live with this. If you were chucking this around you wouldn't really think it's a, an estate car and I said the same when I drove the Cupra ST uh, a couple of years ago. I was very fortunate enough to do that on the track in Barcelona. So this is a Cupra, so it's going to be familiar to you if you are familiar with these cars. There's nothing that feels vastly different in terms of the handling. Uh, the power is the same. However, this is the four drive version. So I haven't got that in my car, being a five to one. So it's not to 60 time is quicker. I can't remember, I think it's a second or two maybe, second and a half. Should have checked my fingers first. But it is a little bit faster, not 60, and I might try that out in a minute. I'm not going to do launch control, I can't even remember how to do that, although people on the forums will probably be annoyed if I don't try it, but I'm not going to do it. I haven't got too long here with the car and I have to get back home. And I might sneak in another drive of the Cupra R because it's sat waiting for me back at the, uh, the car depot. The digital dash looks really good. Uh, I was a bit gutted that it wasn't ready when I ordered my car and it's the first one I've actually seen in the flesh. I will show some video of this, maybe go through the options. But it's nice and crisp and clear, seems responsive. At a glance you wouldn't know it wasn't a real dash. Uh, needles are moving as you'd expect them to. Obviously they wouldn't <laughs> launch anything that didn't behave as it should. In terms of looks on the car, it is subtle, but just that little bit more aggressive with the body kit bits. So you've got the same body kit bits that come on the Cooper R and were shown on the Cooper R ST. So you've got the front splitter at the bottom, again in carbon, all in carbon fiber. You've got the side skirts, and you've got the rear lower diffuser. However, this car comes with quad exhaust, which is a first for Seat and they are polished black pipes, which look really, really good, and they stick out quite nicely from the car. And the reason I reference the Cooper RST is that's exactly the same as you get on the Cooper RST. The only, and the wheels are the same. On this, you get the Brembos, the Brembos are red, they can be black on the ST. So really, the only difference is the color, you don't get the copper detailing, obviously, that you do on the Cupra R. And you don't get the huge spoiler that comes on the Cupra R either. But the rest is the same. You're getting the bucket seats. Again, interior-wise, you're not getting the copper detailing. This is what I'm intrigued about. I suspect 
we might not see the Cooper RST in the UK. I wonder if Seat have changed their mind and that's why they've brought this car out. I could be wrong and the press team are going to try and find out for me. So by the time I've edited and uploaded this video, I may be able to correct this, but it just feels to me strange. Oh, am I joining the motorway? It feels strange that they have brought out a car that looks very similar, has the same kit on as the Cooper R. Yes, it's a limited edition in the UK. 50 cars coming, as I said. But we'll see. I do like this car, and I would quite happily have this car. So, we're on the dual carriageway. It does sound nice when you put the foot down. That exhaust does sound a little bit different now to mine. I'd love to hear what it sounds like on the outside, so I will have to stick the camera on the outside in a bit and have a go. It's taken a while for me to get used to the dash and some things are in a little bit different places so seeing that I'm in sport mode is in a completely different place to where I'm used to seeing it so that took me by surprise there for a second. So oh, we're going to get some rain. Just going to slow down a bit. I'm in sport mode. Let's see if we can hear this exhaust.
then yes, absolutely. I'm going to recommend it. Is it worth the premium over the standard estate? I don't have the figures off the top of my head. Uh, you're getting the digital dash, you're getting the bucket seats, you're getting the body kit that uh, one of the guys on the forums told me spec'd up. If you buy it separately, the car, all the carbon bits, it's about two grand. And if you add on top the cost for the wheels and the Brembo's, then yeah, it probably is worth the money if you can get one because there's only 50 at the time of ordering books opening coming into the UK. Don't know if any have been ordered yet. This is obviously the press car so you can't have this one. So we'll see. My lease is coming up soon so I've got some decisions to make whether I get the Cupra Teca which we're hoping to get to drive later in the year or one of these or the Cupra R ST if it comes out as I said I'm still not sure whether we're going to see that or not I'm hoping to find out later today so there you go Cupra ST Carbon Edition Red Car